Hi, in this video, I would like to explain a little bit more about my testing on the accuracy of the Creality Scan Raptor Pro. One of the audience asked me to look into the advertisements on the Creality website. It says that uh, this scanner has uh, 20 microns uh, accuracy, but uh, in my testing that I test with this uh, aluminum block, the reading is somewhere around 40 50 microns. Both the Raptor Pro Laptop X and uh, uh, original laptops, nothing reached uh, 20 microns. Accuracy, you mean you need to compare the measurement of the scanner with the tools that you assume that it has accurate reading. Uh, in my test, I use this uh, Vernier caliper. It's a uh, medium price uh, caliper. If I use a different caliper, like uh, the one from Mitu Toyo, it will give a different other value. This uh, Vernier caliper will have a different uh, reading from other Vernier caliper. Most of the 3D scanner with the blue laser, they all advertise for 20 microns uh, accuracy. So where does that come from? So let me explain this to you. If I cut a section of this aluminum block that I was scanned with the Laptop Pro in the 22 lines blue laser, very thin section, 1.5 millimeter like this. And if I look from the side view, in theory, if the 3D scanner has a zero precision alert, it should give you a straight line. All the dots here should be aligned in the straight line. But in fact, uh, when the 3D scanner measure the same plane like 50 times in one second, uh, it will give uh, a little bit of the different leading. This is called precision alert. The thinner the wall is, the higher the precision that scanner has. And if I will measure the thickness of this wall along the C-axis, I will measure this point to this point. If you look at delta C, it reads uh, only 16 microns. This point and to this point, it reads uh, 15 microns. Every point in this cross section has a less than 20 microns thickness. Uh, this is where the 20 microns uh, advertisement come from. So if the scanner uh, has lower precision, uh, this line will be thicker. Thicker wall of the point cloud will give you lower accuracy when you do uh, reverse engineering. Okay, this is another 3D scan of the aluminum block from the CR scan Otter. Uh, Otter has a lower precision in both the small medium camera and the large object camera. So I will make a same cross section. And if we look on the side here, you will see that the other cross-section lines is much thicker than the one from the laptop. So if I measure the points from here to here, you will get 127 microns of the wall thickness. As you can see here, it's supposed to be a straight line, but it's not straight. You see, it's wavy line. If you do a reverse engineer in automatic software or you do it manually, it will give you less accurate uh, dimension. Look at this point from here to here, you get 95 microns. So what Creality says on the website for the 0.02 millimeter uh, precision, but they call it accuracy, is not true. The actual precision value is around uh, 100 microns or 0.1 millimeter. So if you want to measure the thickness of the aluminum block from the point cloud, your reading will be vary between plus and minus 0.1 millimeter for the other. For example, if this block has a 3 millimeter thickness, uh, your reading will be uh, either 3.1 or 2.9 millimeter. But if you measure this with the 3D scan from the laptop, your reading will be somewhere around 3.02 and 2.98 because it has only 0.2 mm precision error. So before you buy expensive 3D scanner for doing the reverse engineering, uh, you should ask for the sample of the 3D scan files from the seller. And then you can do the cross-section analysis of the wall, like in this example. Okay, I hope that this video will help you understand what is that uh, 20 micron precision that Clarity claims come from. Thanks you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.